create eye catching later portraits like this in Canva. So let's start with it. So I have chosen a Instagram post format which is a square format and I will choose a text. For this example I am using B. So I will click on add a heading and here I will write B and as you can see the Canva Sans font is not too bold so uh, for that I will go to font and here I will write poppins and in here I will yes, use the drop down button and here you will click on black so as you can see it is in bold mode and I will make it bigger okay and after that I will just go to elements and go to shapes here and add a shape which will align just the portion of the text okay and this one is done let's make it bigger here okay so like this and after that as you can see here let's zoom it that it is uh, slightly in the below so I will click on slightly in the upper part so that I can create a better way to blend it so after that I will choose distortion and go to graphics go to see all and use this distortion and change all the colors to white okay and I will add it first making it bigger okay so like this select all of them just unselect the B part and move it to the left now okay like this and after that when this is done now just crop out that part the below part which is just aligning with the distortion part okay so let's see if it is aligning now or not so let's uh, make it slightly bigger and adjust it accordingly okay so as you can see in here I have made it slightly bigger here because uh, you will find that uh, currently when you are downloading in Canva the element is going slightly down so to adjust that I am making this element slightly bigger than the main text okay so this one is done now I will adjust the picture so for this I am using uh, let's use a picture which is a male portrait and let's go to photos click on see all and here i will use this picture and let's make it bigger and just decrease the transparency to see if it is adjusting or not so let's make it bigger now and just keep it this way okay so making it bigger slightly and I want to make it a popping style uh, picture so for this I am just making the head a little above okay so after that when it is adjusted I will click on ctrl x to cut the image and click on add page and just paste it here De increase the transparency and after that just click on share click on download download both the page page 1 and 2 so after the both the downloading is done now I will click on add page and add both the images here one by one 
okay so adjustment is done now i will just move uh, both the layers so that i can align in in a better way and i will just go down scroll down to apps here i will write blend okay and here i will select on blend image and for the top layer i will choose this b and for the bottom layer i will choose this one and make sure the blend mode is in screen so that the image is perfectly displayed here okay so this is the image and click on add to design for uh, adding after a new page okay and just unzoom it to make it to the full canvas okay so this one is done now bring this image the previously downloaded image in here make it to the same size okay and after that just click on bg remover and just crop out the part okay like this let's check if it is working fine or not so it will move slightly to the left so this one now is perfectly set and you can use it in your own way but another thing i want to share which is that here in this if you want to change the background you need to work on one more step which is go to share go to download and just download this page which is in png mode this is only required if you want to ju uh, just change the background if you don't want to change the background you can just use this image and use it for your design but if you want to change the background this is another step which you need to add and for that uh, just change the background and see if it is working or not so as you can see i have not made any changes so now i will make the change which is i will click on bg remover okay and let's change the color now and as you can see you can just change the color here and just change the color for the background also and see and you can change the color for this one also so you can change both the colors if you want if you are making a, another step so you can also do that so hope you like this tutorial and this is a very easy one just you need to download it uh, two to three times that's the main part and nothing else so hope you like this tutorial and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.